Hi, I thought I'd do a quick uh, inbox review. A new kit I got recently, um, special offer over Easter period from Airfix. I think it was something like 10.99. So um, I thought, oh, okay, we'll have one of those. Um, basically, we've hit, got here the uh, 172nd scale Airfix Douglas Dakota uh, Mark IV. Um, lovely box art. Sorry, the good bit of glare from the lights there. Um, as usual, you know, Airfix always do a good job normally with their box art. Uh, we've got some sort of CAD uh, images here of the sort of built up model kit. Uh, cartograph decals by the looks of things, so that's always good. Uh, kit number A08015. Uh, fairly standard sort of stuff there. Up side again, we've got two uh, schemes there. Uh, so there we got the down air services, England 1955. And we've got this British Overseas uh, Airways Corporation uh, 1942 in the sort of you know standard brown and green with black bullets things um, underneath. Um, let's get her open, have a look, see what we've got here. Um, I have actually already opened it, the moulding, because I wanted to take some photographs of it. But we'll start off with the instructions. Uh, fairly standard uh, Airfix affair, we've got three languages. Uh, English, French, German, bit of information uh, about the aircraft. Um, this is the newer style instructions, which is nice. So we've got a bit of colour there, very, very clear drawings. Uh, it's all good stuff. Um, as usual with pretty much most aircraft, we're starting in the cockpit here. Um, certainly the detail looks to be quite good for the scale. We've got a decal here for the um, instrument panel. Um, I don't suppose you'll see actually that much once it's all buttoned up through the glazing. Uh, but we have got some um, pilots if we want to use them. And then it goes through fairly standard. Um, we've got two types of seating here, although it doesn't indicate which version. Um, it just gives you a question mark. Um, also, I would have thought for an airline type aircraft you wouldn't have had seats on the side here, but I haven't uh, researched that. Uh, somebody may be able to tell me, um, but then it goes together fairly quickly. While other things sides come together under the wing there, uh, <coughs> the rest of the wings. Then we go on to the sort of engines, uh, you know, various flaps, uh, horizontal stabilizers, etc. What's nice, obviously, here we've got movable. We can position the flap, positionable flaps, which is always a good thing. So that's nice. Uh, go through, put the engines on there, wheels, uh, it looks like we can have them, yeah we can have it in flight or down which is good, again I say lovely clear pictures of the assembly which is nice, uh, another good thing here is the glazing actually goes in after, um, so for painting you can obviously get it all painted up uh, and then you're popping the glazing in, obviously there's going to potentially need to be some paint work to be done if you want uh, want to do it uh, on the glazing here but at least you, you can put them in afterwards which is quite nice um, propellers and then we go to colour call out two options as we've already mentioned um, we've got the down air there which is kind of in a sort of silver metallic white red should look good as long as we can get a nice finish get a good silver on there should be nice um, and then we've got the sort of uh, more standard military colours, you know, the dark green, dark earth, uh, black underneath there, which is nice. And stencil markings. Um, not a phenomenal amount of those there, which is always nice. Cool, that's the instructions, fairly standard stuff. And we crack straight on with the moulds here. So we've got upper wings, hopefully the camera will pick up, um, recessed panel lines, it's obviously a relatively new um, mould from Airfix, I'm not sure the year this one came out but I think it's you know within the last few years, um, I would say, I don't know, the panel lines are probably a little on the large size for the scale, well, in fact almost certainly, although I'm, I don't I pretend to be a Dakota expert. Um, but you know they're still going to take a wash and look good on the finished model. I think it's it's nice. This FX is usual, uh, more modern plastic. Um, it's fairly smooth. It's, the texture's good. It's not rough. Um, 
No, nice. No flat. Well, there's a little bit of flash on the actual uh, sprues, but the actual parts themselves all look to be flash free so far. Uh, we then go on to the uh, under the yeah, under the uh, the under wing section there. Again, nice. Plenty of detail. It's all recessed. We've then got the main um, fuselage half there. Again, as I say, I think the panel lining is a little bit overstated, especially for this scale, but I think it'll still look good under a coat of paint and some wash. Uh, again, there's the, uh, the other side here. We've got the main uh, sort of part in the, inside the, uh, the aircraft. As your various stabilizer, horizontal stabilizers and various bits and bobs there. Uh, lower wing surface there. Again, all appears to be quite clean, crisp, flash free. Got some nice internal ribbing because, uh, of course, I think you can you probably can pose the door open. I can't remember if the instructions showed that. So you could show certain a certain amount of the interior. Although I think you're going to have to be a bit careful if you do that because there is some um, injection pins that perhaps are going to need to be filled if you're going to actually open it up. <clears throat> but otherwise, yeah, all clean, crisp, no flash, nice. Then go on to some of the smaller parts here. Um, our two pilots, they're fairly, look fairly generic, nothing special there. Um, all the other parts are pretty good, reasonable engine detail, not the best but not bad. Um, again it's all clean, uh, it doesn't seem to be any flash on any of those parts that I can see, so that's nice. Go on to the last uh, grey sprue. Um, I've actually got two types of propellers there, just noticed, just so you've got the more pointed and the more rounded ended propellers. Um, again, we've got weight on wheels, which is nice. So that's always a good thing. Hopefully that's focused in alright there. Again, there's a reasonable amount of detail there. Um, and again, it all appears to be flash free, fairly crisp. No real problems there clear parts. Now the first thing you notice here is they are actually very very shiny. But again I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up. We're coming a little bit closer here. It's alright. But they're very very shiny clear parts which is nice obviously. You're not really going to see a massive amount of internal detail through these I don't think once everything's buttoned up. But nevertheless they're quite nice. Last of all, and probably quite important, is the decals. Um, they don't say cartograph on them, which is unusual I guess, but not, not so unusual with Airfix. Um, they're quite matte, maybe satin perhaps is the best way to describe them, but they are beautifully um, printed. Let's look at that. As you can see from the Union Jacks, they're very nice. Very little carrier film. I don't know if they feel reasonably thin. Stencils look nice. All oh, looks very good. I think they'll go on well, hopefully. Probably worth a good glossing before you put them down, but um, especially since they're quite matte, but I think they'll go on well. No dramas there at all. Looks like another quite good kit from Airfix. You've built into quite a nice little model. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Cheers. Thanks for watching.